So for our first effort at programming in Codeo, I am going to present you with a guide, what you see over here on the right. It's called Learning Codeo Basics. And the objective here is to, it says write a function called get sum of products. I'm really asking you to complete this function. As it is, um, get sum of products um, is called with two empty arrays. Um, so, but the information that will be passed to get sum of products, um, it's information that will be passed in from the command line. Um, but the information that we wish to pass to it will be two single dimensional arrays. For example, one, two, one, and then another series of numbers, one, two, one. They're going to be of the same size size two, size three, size four, size five. We're gonna have the same number of elements. And then each one is gonna be multiplied, one against the other, first position, first position, second position against the second position, and so on, and sum together. So it's the sum of the individual products. And so this answer here, um, we see it's six, but we'd like for um, the correct answer to be generated over here where it says um, line 16, your work goes here, you'll want to, head, you'll, you'll want to go ahead and, and um, add the additional code that would complete um, the, the functionality that we're looking for. So example input, the 111 for the first array and 111 for the second, um, that you would expect to give an output of three. So before you even submit, an assignment, um, you'll get a chance to see if it's working. So this here, where it says compile code, it compiles it. And then when I say test it with 111 and then 111, it says the sum is 992 and that's not correct. It's really just printing out a bogus sum here. Um, so it's working. And then once it's and, and the system, the environment is smart enough to recompile. So you can just hit test code again, and it shows it as 888. So what you want to do is calculate the sum with the two arrays that have been brought in. Um, and then, um, you know, and then work with the two arrays and create the, the sum of the products. So you'll be able to do that with a number of different values. Uh, one, two, three. So you'll do it with four different arrays and you'll be able to check your code to see if it's working. Um, we know I'm sharing with you here what the expected output is and then you should see it here. So that finally when you're ready to submit your work to be graded or submit it to um, so that it ends up going into the grade but on gradebook on Canvas, um, you'll just be able to hit check it. It'll check your answer. And in this case, it was expecting 3, 6, 2, and 20. Um, so the sum, it, it just used the default answers that were in there. 888, the sum, it says the sum is 888, but what it expected was a 3. So it's set up right now so that it's always going to output 888. Um, and so this is incorrect, right? So make sure that, and this is kind of, the, for me, it's the importance of, talking about the command line because it allows me to present your program with multiple scenarios um, and to check its functionality. So you're working with just what's here. You're not going to modify anything that's in main. I will do that. So this is, I think I still have to spend a few more minutes to get this entirely set up for you. But this gives you an idea of what I'm looking for and um, lets you know in which direction you should be focusing your attention and you can start getting ready um, for, for this first, uh, it's a bit of a soft lab to get us used to Codeo and to get us thinking about coding in Java once again. So um, go ahead and get coding with this in whichever environment you feel comfortable with. And then um, you'll just be able to replace this sum of products function with your own function. 
and, and then test it to see if it's working. Once you submit it, uh, you'll be able to um, have that grade brought into, you'll see that that grade is brought into Canvas. So I will have to make a few more changes to tighten this up a bit, but that's enough for you to get started.